So our next speaker is Pere. So, uh, and the talk is going to be great, right? So the talk is going to be about Gini. It's a web framework written purely in Julia. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, Pere will talk about latest advancements in the package and also introduce Gini Builder, as far as I know. Nice. So round of applause for our speaker. Thank you. Okay, it's working. <coughs> All right, well, hello, everyone. Is it working well? Uh, I'm Pere Jimenez, data science advocate at Gini, and welcome to our Gini talk. As many of you know, Gini is the leading web framework for creating uh, data-centric web applications in Julia. And today, I will bring you some new product updates that will make it easier and faster than ever to build data applications in Julia and Gini. Data applications, like this one that we have here, where we have a dynamic system implemented with modeling toolkit and a dashboard to run the simulation, uh, explore the results, and set the parameters of the components in the dynamic circuit. Also, applications like this one, where we have a dashboard for exploring a large two gigabyte data set of weather measurements taken across the United States. And we have some controls here to the right to set the information that is being displayed on the two charts. So for our first uh, big news uh, from this past year, we have Gini Builder 1.0, <coughs> which is the best and fastest way to create data apps in Julia without having to write any UI code at all. Gini Builder is built on top of the oh, sorry, is built on top of the open source Gini framework, and it brings an improved and streamlined a workflow that enables users to create the user interfaces visually with the drag and drop editor. And so now I will show you uh, the, the typical steps when building a new Genie application. The first step is to uh, create the application with the visual editor. And this visual editor has a library of components of over 70 components and charts that you can use to build your interfaces as well as uh, configuration panel to configure your components, and more features like an integrated AI assistant or a theme and style editor. Now, this uh, visual editor makes it easier, faster, and also uh, precise to build your user interfaces. It is easy because uh, you don't have to write any UI code at all, so this lowers the learning curve. It is fast because anything you might want to do with your interface is just one <coughs> or a few clicks away, and it is also precise because you can drop things, you can drop the components and place them right where you want them and easily configure them to your needs. Now, after this first step in which we have implemented the user interface with the visual editor, the next step would be to add some uh, backend code to handle the interactivity of our application. In this backend code, what you will need to do is declare uh, input variables to hold the information that is being sent from the browser to the Julia backend some output variables to send data from the backend to the browser, and then uh, set a series of uh, handlers that will execute a snippet of code whenever a user interacts with the, with the interface or performs any action. As you can see, this is a pretty simple API with just uh, three macros, in, out, and on change. You can implement all sorts of interactivity within your app. And so after these two first steps, that is the design of the interface with the visual editor and writing the backend code, we are done with the development of the Gini application, and we are ready to deploy it online. You can deploy it on Julia Hub uh, in just one click, where after a moment, you will have a link that you can share with others so that they can also access the application, or you can also um, deploy on your own infrastructure. Gini Builder is uh, an extension for the VS Code editor okay, that can be installed locally on your own computer, or it can also be used online on Julia Hub in their cloud IDE. For the local version, there's a free light plan that's uh, available to download and install for free. There's also uh, free IEDU licenses for educational purposes, and for commercial usage, uh, there is a paid license. And this is it for our uh, introduction to uh, Gini Builder. Now we also have some more news regarding uh, our uh, open source stack, that is Gini Framework. As a quick introduction to uh, Gini Framework, 
let me say that the uh, Gini framework is a complete toolbox for creating production grade data applications in pure Julia. Uh, this framework is composed of uh, several packages, the main of, win of which is uh, Gini.jl. This package implements all of the necessary features for writing code that runs on the server. If you are familiar with Python, this would be similar to uh, the Django in the Python ecosystem. Then we have Stipple, which implements a low-code uh, API and a UI library for creating interactive user interfaces. Again, with uh, comparing to the Python ecosystem, this would be similar to Streamlit or Dash, except that in this case, you are writing your interfaces in Pure Julia. Then we also have uh, Searchlight, which is a package for interacting with uh, relational databases without having to write any SQL queries. Again, all in Julia. And finally, we have uh, first-party plugins that provide uh, more advanced features like authentication, uh, authorization, API documentation, and so on. And over this uh, past year, since our focus has been on improving the workflows for creating uh, data applications, we have made uh, many improvements to the Stipple package. Namely, we have uh, migrated the front-end stack implemented by Stipple from Vue 2 to Vue 3 in order to improve the support for, uh, that for this uh, front-end stack. Uh, we have also added uh, many new uh, plugins to the Stipple ecosystem, like Stipple LaTeX for uh, rendering like the equations on your apps, also, Stipple Calculator GL for improved map visualizations, Stipple Downloads for the managing of uh, file transfers, and Stipple Markdown for rendering markdown code on your apps. And of course, uh, we have also fixed uh, many bugs and made many stability improvements across the entire Gini framework uh, code base. And we have also focused over this past year on improving the documentation and the accessibility of the Gini framework. And so we have created a new website at uh, learn.giniframework.com in order to centralize uh, all of the documentation from our packages and Gini Builder as well into just one place that is easy to browse and access. Uh, in this new website, we have a new design, and we have a new starter guides to help you take your first steps when uh, getting started with uh, Gini. We have also added a new tutorials page, which uh, explains and implements many end-to-end -end workflows uh, within Gini. And we also have a new uh, gallery page, which uh, lists uh, many uh, demo applications that belong to fields like uh, scientific machine learning, uh, dynamic system simulation, combat optimization, data analysis, and um, a few more. And uh, we hope that uh, with this gallery, you will be able to find an application that is close to your use case in order to get started uh, yeah, building your, uh, your apps. And if you look at it and you see that it's missing something that might be useful for you or something that you think might help the community or those in your field, please let us know and we will be happy to work on uh, adding new demos to, uh, to our gallery. And well, th uh, this is it for uh, <coughs> our documentation news. Also, as our last piece of news, uh, I just want to say that we are running a Gini competition this summer uh, in which you will be able to earn to win cash prizes and credits on Julia Hub. In order to enter the competition, you just need to create a new Gini app and download it to a Julia Hub. If you want to know more details about it, please check out our website at giniforingworld.com and go to our blog and you will see the full uh, details of the competition. And well, this was it for uh, this quick uh, presentation about uh, what's new with Gini over this uh, past year. The Gini team will be uh, around uh, this Saturday for a Gini hackathon. So if you would like to uh, get started with Gini and learn more about it, uh, please uh, come see, uh, yeah, please join us, and we will, be, we will be working with you and help you out. Also, we have a booth here on the third level. So again, if you want to talk about Gini, learn more about it, please come say hi. And by the way, we have the creator of the Gini framework, uh, Adrian Salciano. So if you would like to meet him, uh, yeah, drop by, and uh, he will be there. So thank you, everyone, for your attention, and uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Great talk. Um, do we have a question from the audience? OK, I have a question. OK, you have a question. So the, the Gini Builder is really cool. I really like the integration with DS Code. Yeah. So, um, what do you have else? What else do you have? Secret, like secrets. What else What's do I have? What's the next big thing for uh, Gini in the coming year, two years? Uh, well, we, I mean, I, we're working on evolving, for instance, the AI assistant. Okay, to streamline the workflow even further, so that we would like to also more 
write the front end code, but also the back end, so that you don't have to manually declare off all of the bindings and the handles and so on. So that's one thing that I can say. We're also looking into extending the, making Gini Builder more extensible so that you can import custom components, okay? So that you maybe you need some specific visualizations, uh, some kind of visualizations for your field or other, from other frameworks like React, for instance. We are working on making it more extensible so that, that you can do pretty much anything with it. Nice. Uh, do you also work on uh, some sort of integration with uh, deployment systems, like say GitHub Actions, one button, and Genie website is running? As of now, we have a partnership with Julia Hub, and that's uh, our focus. Like we have been focusing on the builder and for deployments, uh, Genie Builder is totally integrated with the Julia Hub infrastructure, and you can do one click deployments there. If, whether in the future you will be able to uh, deploy it right from the VS Code, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to. That's uh, very cool. We'll see. Thanks. Extra round of applause. Thank you. Um, and uh, we have a small break, 10 minutes, before our uh, next uh, big keynote. So you have some time to stretch your legs, get some drinks, but return. <laughs>